The plan went south. When the Baron learned of our presence, he blocked the gate. And now, it can only be opened from atop the tower. Luckily, the Baron is not in a hurry to kill us. Quite the opposite. He invited me to come up to his penthouse, on the condition that I lower my gun. He has some kind of an offer. I really have no choice, but would still like to know what kind of trap I'm walking into. I'd ask Gule, but she just vanished. I guess I'll have to improvise. If the deal goes south, I'll... Well, I'll do what I can. Get ready and enter that gate, Artyom. You must be one of the train gang. Just you take a fucking look at the beauty Vince is making for the boss. Fucking blind or what? Well, you just fucking pull it. Put your back into it. Why the fuck did you feed you yesterday? Sorry, master. I'm your slave. It was not on purpose. Shut up. I'll teach you how to swim. Want to see the boss? Come on in. Did you expect a different reception? <laughs> Alter your weapons. Here we can talk without the masks. I trust everyone present implicitly. You find it weird. They're not really bothered by your little mischief. Well, you see, this world is a harsh and chaotic one. I'm just doing my best to introduce a little order into it. Without which there is no hope for something better in the future. And with no hope, you can't live. But let us cut to the chase. You definitely did not come here to enjoy the scenery. Ergo, you have a goal. And that goal is probably far from here. I respect people with their purpose in life. So, I am ready to provide you with fuel for your journey. I'm not asking for much in return. Surrender Gyul to me. 
Bring her to me, and we all win. I have you. You will have your fuel. Everyone gets to live long and prosper.
You want to decorate the new world up. with this? Not half of me! Your misguided attack! <laughs> I go her! Take the Baron! It's the strongest! What's the knives? You gave my people hope. I'll never forget it. But this war has only started for me, and I must see it to the end. The winning end. Artyom, your dream led us here, but it won't help my people. This war is mine now, too. Go, Artyom. Follow your dream. I was so worried. Fanatics on the banks of Volga. Cannibals in the mountain bunker. Slavers on the shores of the dried out sea. How many monsters has the war given rise to? Or perhaps, were they always there? And the war simply gave them a chance to show themselves, and now we're stuck with them forever. Will Damir, who stayed in the desert to help Kyul lead their people to freedom, beat another monster? The inertia of thought that had been keeping the subjugated locals in willing and ready servitude to tyrants? Frankly, I have doubts. That monster might prove stronger than all the others. Regardless, we can't afford to lose hope. We're getting ever closer to our dream. Finding a place where we could live, free from radiation and mutants. The maps we recovered in the desert have provided us with several promising options. And now the crew members are excitedly waiting for the Colonel's decision on where the Aurora should go next. Currently, though, the train is calmly rolling eastward. The crew rests, and Stepan proposed to Katya. It was a proposal she couldn't refuse. Sands long ago, and it still persists. <clears throat> what does Crest even smoke? <laughs> it's terrible. In any case, I'm better now. I hate to interrupt, guys, but uh, you should come to the mess hall. The table is almost served. Thanks, Stepan. We'll be there in a moment. Shall we go, Artyom? Or shall we stay a little longer? It's so nice. You know, Artyom, I've been looking at Stepan and Katya, you and me, and thinking how lucky we are. It was so different with my parents. It was bad. Did I ever tell you why my mom died? Of course I didn't. It was because of Dad. He used to be even harsher back then. He used to come home from the barracks and reach for the bottle while taking off his boots. They'd quarrel, and then he'd stop appearing for a time. And while he was away, she'd start drinking too, and crying when she was sober. She'd feel better, would get kinda dreamy when drunk. You know how she used to call me. Just A. 
She'd hug me and say, one day, A, you and I are going to go to Vladivostok, the city I was born in. And from there, to a village on the ocean shore. I was five back then and didn't really get much. But I could imagine that village and the ocean so vividly, because I believed her. And then she killed herself, drank some kind of poison. Father quit drinking after Mom's death. Didn't ever pay much attention to me, but with her gone, he'd never leave me alone. Took me along everywhere. We only talked about her a couple of times, though. I used to have this doll, Jana. I played make-believe that she was my daughter, and we went to the ocean together. Then my father hid it, told me it got lost. He probably didn't want me to agonize over Mom's dream. Then I imagine she grew up and went to Vladivostok. And now I'm going. Not to Vladivostok, but with you. The dream came true. By the way, I was always intrigued by what Dad dreams about. He should have some dreams, but what are they? Higher rank? He could choose any. Saving people? What would the saved do next? Sit underground? I never understood him. What does he hope for in life? What makes him happy? Nothing, perhaps. He never really had any time to think about tomorrow. Down in the metro, those thoughts don't come casually. Here on the surface, though. I, for one, have something I want to do. I want to run through the sand barefoot. Build a sand castle for the kids. I'm imagining two. A boy and a girl. The boy would be a copy of you. We'd go swimming with mountains behind us. Wooden houses on the shore. The sun would wake us up every day, rising from the ocean. That harbor is our destination. Worth going there, even if we have half the world to cross. Everyone should have a destination. A point on the map where they aspire to go, and where one could finally be happy. All our guys have their own. Go, Artyom. I'll rest some more and join you later.
You should have seen them dance. Don't you worry, you'll get another chance. A moment of your attention, please. Half a year on the road, and 4,000 clicks behind us. We have been through a lot. Duke, Damir. All right, people. I do understand I can't keep it a secret much longer. After a careful study of the satellite maps we've obtained, and much deliberation, we've found a place we could call our new home. It is a river valley. There's forest and a hydroelectric power plant. This place is quite far from densely populated areas, which, as our journey has proven, is important. We're about two days away from it now. So, Congratulations, everyone! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Yet, uh, this is not our last order of business for today. <coughs> Stepan, Katya. Oh, Prince! Stepan, Katya, repeat after me. I take you to be my spouse. I take you to be my spouse. And vow to hold you from this day forward. And vow to for hold better, you from this day forward, for, for, for better or for worse. For richer, <coughs> for poor, for richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and, and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to until cherish death and to death part to us part. As the captain of this ship, I hereby pronounce you husband and wife. Live long and be happy. Oh, and Gorka! 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 Think constructively. So, Katya, what do you think? I think that trusting some degenerate's diagnosis wouldn't be wise. A move from humid metro into the desert with its dry heat and sandstorms is a stress for us. Yes, life. I do think she'd be hit really bad right off the start. Had it my been thoughts gas. exactly. Thus, first I'll check her condition to the best of my knowledge. Also, we're approaching the valley with its forest air. That alone could heal her. I'm sorry to intervene, but did something happen? Oh, Anna coughed out some blood. My god. Do you really think it's the sin? Sounds more like TB to me. That's for sure. TB we can handle. We've got enough antibiotics, and air does help with that. What if... What if that degenerate was right, Katya? What do we do? Is there medicine? 
There was an air defense battery station in our village. Right on the brink of war, they received a new drug. It saved a lot of people after gas exposure and general poisoning. I'll check my mom's records and find its name. I think it was produced in Novosibirsk. Also like to say this. Guys, please don't worry. I've been feeling pretty bad as it is for ruining the party. Oh, come on. You didn't ruin anything. I just brought myself down to rock bottom over that bastard from Yamantau. Though it must just be the sand and desert climate. Of course that must be it. We were discussing exactly that just now. All right. A toast. To you guys. Just be happy together.
пока мы не увязли в борьбе. Она умрет, если будет ничьей. Пора вернуть эту землю себе. I can't say I've ever been religious, but right now I'm begging all gods, please, watch over Anna and make the valley cure her of her affliction. In the meantime, Alyosha and I are on a recon mission. We have no idea of what is waiting for us there, though Alyosha seems convinced that there are going to be crowds of women eagerly anticipating his arrival. If that turns out to be the case, then I have the best companion possible for this mission. Yes, I must say, I'm rather partial to this valley. Take care for what makes your head swim. Never smelled air like this in my life. I bet if we spend a week there, it won't just cure Anna. It'll make Colonel grow his feet back. This is one bumpy ride. The rails are all bent. The whole track seems to be fixing to slide down. I sure hope it can hold our weight. Let's hail the Aurora and tell them to take the other road. Come in, Aurora. This is forward recon. Do you read? Over. is completely awesome, Colonel. Sir, I'll not be sure to love it here. Over. So the plan goes like this. We get to that dam, check it out quickly, and call them over. Just take a look at all this beauty, huh? Don't you want them to see it sooner? Look at that church. Scott, your friend, but I can see your two are not bandits. I'll help you out if you don't do anything stupid. Gotta run now. Just stay out of sight and you'll be fine. Catch you later.
Avast! Stop right there! It's the brethren of the coaster! Take another step and we run our rig on you! Aye! Another step and you die! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, so beat it, you scallywag! If you know what's good for your ground-loving ass! Even one of you drifters we caught today is too much! Aye! Be a boot doggy and get lost! Ha 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 ha! Aren't coming back either. The dam workers told they'd give them the lift to the city, but. 